Students at Worthington Kilbourne were back in the classroom for the first time since Wednesday following a series of threats. We thank you for joining us for NBC 4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley. In order to ensure safety, the school increased security measures for students and staff to follow. NBC 4's Jackie Gillis joins us now with an update on those measures and what students can now expect. Jackie. Jennifer and Jared, the high school was closed on Thursday and Friday after threats were sent in. And now the most recent threat that was sent in on Friday was targeting African-American students. So over the weekend, there were multiple meetings to determine if the school was safe and the decision was made this morning to reopen the classrooms again. I just feel like, you know, the whole situation is sickening and it's and it's disheartening and it's sad. Ebony Weinert has a child that attends Worthington Kilbourne. When she learned last week that a threat was sent out targeting African-American students, she was afraid for her child's safety. Do I send my daughter back to school? Your child goes to school to learn. You shouldn't have to send your kid to school and then you're sitting at home or at work wondering, is my kid going to come home alive? When I spoke with her again today, she told me her daughter wanted to go back. I was nervous, but I spoke with um, other students, parents who were African-American. Um, I actually have a friend slash coworker whose son actually goes to the school too. And they were sending their kids back. So it made me feel a little bit better. Um, and then I dropped her off this morning and there was extra staff. They actually had a police officer on the premises. So it kind of made me feel better. 85% of students were in attendance today. And for families that didn't feel safe sending their child, the district marked it as an excused absence. Precautions today included a greater police presence at the high school and limiting entrances and exits of the building. I like those things that they are trying to put in place and I feel confident like they are trying to protect my child. At this time, there is still no updates regarding the threats and the investigation is ongoing at this time. Local for you in Worthington, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4.